The pressure is on, and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? We're live on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the 2024 UEFA European Championship. It's Belgium and well it was a promising avenue of attack but the momentum has been halted. You wouldn't be surprised to see they can't hand it out. So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there he's not going to take any messing about here. And whipped into the box. Good piece of defending. Well, the thing about Belgium is you've always got to take them seriously. I know we've been saying that for a while, haven't we? They're among the favourites when it comes to major tournaments. And I wonder, could this be the year, Stuart? Well, I think that was the case for the 2020 European Championships. They were the favourites, in my view. And they were sent home by Italy in that great game. So I don't think they're quite so good at the moment. I think this will be a struggle for them, although I do think they'll win their group. So with a slightly new generation and lowered expectations, maybe this time? Well, if they are to be successful, their key players have got to play well. They've got to have a good team spirit. And if they do all those things, they might have a good tournament. Lobotka. Duda. Can he convert? Determined defending. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders. He's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass. He can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Yurai Kutska. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Ball played nicely. And danger averted. Well read. De Bruyne. Vertonghen with it. Doku. Showing real patience. Can they forge ahead? A very effective challenge put in. Kutska. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Stanislav Lobotka. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Lobotka. Hansko. Duda, Robert Bozenik, and on to Kutska. Lobotka, Skriniar. I think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing. A free kick in the end after initially playing advantage, but it just wasn't there.
distributing it well. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Jeremy Doku. Oh, what an opportunity! A majestic piece of goalkeeping there. That's goalkeeping at its best. He's so hard to beat from that sort of range. Duda. It's with Milan Skriniar. Lobotka. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Moving into the advanced position. No advantage coming into play, and rightly so. His fate lies with the referee who booked him earlier. And given away. Well, really walking a tightrope, but not seeing yellow for a second time. Well, I think the referee's right. It's not a second yellow, but he needs to be careful now. Oh, big chance! Oh, but denied! Full credit to the keeper. Well, of course he should score, but what a save that is. De Bruyne firing it over, nodding it over. Well, he was more determined than his marker, but he just couldn't get it on target, could he? And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on in the second half, it's key that he sees a bit more of the ball. And hopefully with that, he can start to put that back line under a bit more pressure. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Can he put them in front? And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Passes like that, very much in his repertoire. And the ball with De Bruyne, and he's making progress. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. Oh, that is extraordinary! True athleticism to make contact in that fashion, and it's one of the finest goals you're ever likely to see. Simply stunning. Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything, agility, technique, and power. It's a great goal. The ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Denis Vavro and on to Kutska. Lobotka. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Castagna. Good defending. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. So a personnel change then.
So making the substitution now. Put in by De Bruyne. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Threat over for now, it seems. Peter Pekarik. Denis Vavro. And Pekarik in possession. Well, time just challenged magnificently. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Kutska. Well, they're behind, but they might be onto something here. Oh, a fantastic save! Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Timothy Castagna. Belgium a little wasteful in possession. Well, it's a good-looking position. Is there a goal in the future? Well, they've lost the ball. And nicely over the top. Well read to put an end to that attack. Peter Pekarik. Denis Vavro. Benesch. Well, the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. He has time to play us over. minutes left for play Skriniar Robert Mack moving into the advanced position and teammates around him well it came to nothing in the end Bossard. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Now well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Belgium come away with it. Definitely look as though they want to make the smoke count. No nonsense clearance. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Peter Pekarik. And showing the importance of wind. Oh, nice ball over the top. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. Denis Vavro. Late in the game here, and they know what they've got to do. And there it is. That will do nicely for Belgium. They prevailed in this game.
And Stewart, as always, keen to get your analysis. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. And all in all, a spectacular contribution from Yannick Carrasco. Stuart, what did you make of his performance? Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today, 